Welcome back to my Uncommon Sense Fam and Clan. I appreciate you guys coming back and spending a little bit of time with me. On this channel, we talk about all things fragrance, fashion, mental health, well-being, style, mindset. If you're new to the channel, take a look around the content. Hopefully, you'll see something that you like and decide to stick around. Like the blinking sign says, do all three. We want to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, we're going to hit the B-roll. Y'all know what time it is. We'll be right on back. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. returning uncommon sense family clan welcome how have you guys been miss you guys like always and i got tagged by the lovely maria collette for this tag as you can see in the ticker below it's called the pick and roll tag yes that's a sports reference talking about picking and rolling right in this tag i'm going to explain it like how i understand it we're going to pick the most standout fragrance note in the fragrance i'm selecting today and we're going to roll into the least detectable note and that will be a tag that I'm gonna place on my next individual. So the fragrance that I chose to highlight today is very heavy in sandalwood. That's the note that Maria Collette tagged for me. English Laundry Signature by Christopher Wicks. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration. As you can tell, has a coffret style box. Put a nice little dent in it too. atomizations just to give you a note breakdown in the top we have lavender lemon cedar and bergamot in the mid we have coriander and nutmeg in the base we have musk sandalwood vetiver and amber on my skin in the opening I get loads of lavender and lemon but the star in this fragrance is the sandalwood it's one of the most outstanding fragrance notes in this fragrance i remember wearing it to work and it lasted on me all day it's very rare for me to have fragrances that last all day because my skin loves to eat up a fragrance but the perfumes and the perfume concentrations are the fragrances that tend to wear better on my skin speaking of picking and rolling talking about sports references you guys a little story about me listen i played baseball i tried out for basketball you know that's what boys do right the game changer for me was when first was me playing baseball I played baseball from the ages of seven to twelve the defining moment for me came we're playing the league game and the pitcher decided to throw a curveball and hit me with the ball that ball dislocated my middle finger and my middle finger turned blue from the tip to the middle. It stayed like that for weeks. Finally, probably about a month or two in, my whole fingernail fell off. It was like purple and blue. My whole fingernail grew up and out. And underneath I had a new one. I didn't know that then, but when it came out, it freaked me out. And so that was the defining moment for me that the universe was telling me, you will not be playing baseball. And that was it for me. After that, I was like, I'm good on baseball. I'm out of here. So I was growing into my size and I was growing into my height at that time. I still was not as tall as I am now, but I started going out for basketball. I tried out for basketball from grade six through nine every year and did not make it. I took a creative redirection and just noted that the universe was saying, and you know what? You're not a sports guy. And when I really focused and figured out and honed my attention to being a creative and creating things with my hand, visualizing and manifesting things that are in my mental onto a piece of paper or into a physical work, that's when I really found my stride. And so all of that to say that the universe worked very creatively to make sure that I get my butt into creative mode. 
that's what I've been doing. I don't know if you guys can see, but I've been designing some things over here. Uh, so I'm working on getting those things out and doing a collection of clothing, leaning more toward the great and tall individuals who need a little style, need some flair and fashion with their function. My life's work has been about directing me and getting me on path to do creative things and make things take it from the mental and birth it creatively. That's my little story about sports pick and roll. And we're gonna loop it back around to this fragrance. This fragrance is very heavy in sandalwood. Like right now, I'm still getting that very clean, astringent like thing, but the sandalwood is making its peak. I love fragrances that are based on sandalwood and a great deal of my fragrances feature the note of sandalwood. One of my favorites, of course, is this guy. And I think you guys thought I was gonna do this one because I was tagged for sandalwood, but I had to do something a little different. Just because you thought you had it right, I had to prove you wrong. The least detectable note I'm picking up right now would be vetiver. I don't smell any vetiver in this fragrance. I smell heaps of musk and sandalwood, sandalwood being the standout. We're gonna roll with vetiver. So for the most notable note in this fragrance is going to be the sandalwood, the least notable is going to be the vetiver. That concludes my tag video of pick and roll. I don't even know who I'm gonna tag. I wanna tag somebody uncommon that I don't normally tag. Who are we gonna tag to participate in the pick and roll? I am going to tag Jonesy. So Jonesy, if you see this video and you wanna hop on this tag, this tag is for you. So the rules are simple. You pick your fragrance that has the most notable note of vetiver and then in that fragrance you tell us what the least detectable note is you just tag somebody else and that will be their note that they're to find the most detectable note in the fragrance etc so we're gonna roll like that it's been your man uncommon sense i love you guys from the bottom of my heart the top the sides and all the way around and then we're gonna pick it up and then love on you underneath i'm out till next time y'all all right